Hey guys, today I went to my local fish store and I picked up this fake plant. So this is um, the Fancy Plants Giants Floating Adiantum and it's similar to this plant which you might recognize from lots of my videos. This is the Fancy Plants Giant Bamboo. And I really like it because it's huge and it's really realistic looking. People always are asking me what plant that is because they think it's a real plant. Um, however, as you can see it has gotten really dirty. I've had it for three years and so it's just kind of stained and also faded in a lot of places and yes I'm sure that if I bleached it and tried to clean it, like scrub every single leaf, um, it could look better again. <laughs> but right now I don't feel like doing that, so I'm just going to put it in storage. And also I wanted to switch up the look instead of just using the same plant again. So I'm just going to retire this one for now. and try out this one in my tank and see how it does. Um, part of the reason also that I took this plant, the giant bamboo plant, out of my tank, I took it out of my tank, I don't know, about a month ago, um, is because my white butterfly telescope, Luca, had some fraying around the edging of his mouth and there, I was a little concerned that it could have been caused by an injury from this plant. I don't think it was, but there was a chance that it was, so I took the plant out. And that's kind of why another reason why I like this one better. This one's leaves are smaller, and they're also like kind of frayed at the edges. So it just makes them a lot softer. They're thinner and more flexible. These ones are really soft too, don't get me wrong, but the leaves are broader and a little stiffer, so, in, and they, they're they not sharp as in they could cut you or anything, but the edges are slightly sharp, I guess. And the next thing is a package from Petco that just came in the mail today. So I'm going to open it now so you guys can see what I got. So this is Carib Sea Tahitian Moon Sand, and it's kind of a very coarse sand, so it's heavier and it doesn't get kicked up too much, and it's almost, it's been described as almost a really, really fine gravel too. So it's kind of between a fine gravel and a coarse sand, I think. And I, I just got one... Um, 20 pound bag which might not be enough but I am I'm not looking to plant live plants or anything in it so I only want a really really fine layer I just thought I'll start with one bag and if I end up needing more I can just order another one something that a lot of people um, especially online say about goldfish is that sand is irritating to their gills and therefore you shouldn't use it in the goldfish aquarium and I have never heard any proof of that or compelling reason why that would be true. And I actually know several people who use the same exact substrate in their goldfish tanks and they've never ever had a problem with, the, with it irritating the gills of the fish. And um, it just doesn't make sense because carp in the wild, they live in sandy bottoms, streams and lakes and rivers and such. So they are accustomed to digging through sand to find food, and I don't see why that would be bad for them. And actually, some people even say that ingesting the sand from time to time, which they are bound to do, 
is helpful for their digestive tract to keep things moving through it and keep them from getting constipated. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with using sand in a goldfish tank. The only thing to really worry about is to make sure that it's a coarse, heavier sand. Otherwise, if you have uh, hang on back filters, it can get sucked into the filters and really do some damage to them. So I'm not worried about that for my setup though because I have a sump with an overflow box at the top so there's there's not really any danger of it harming my filter. And also with any substrate you want to make sure that it's a really thin layer. You obviously don't want a few inches worth especially if you're not even planting live plants in it because that will just trap lots of gunk and make the tank dirty and also especially in a really um, compacted substrate like sand you can get anaerobic pockets that when disturbed can really harm your fish so that is definitely something to keep in mind